effectively in the power play. Wide to start with and loose from Dooley as well. Ground running well. We're in Perth and uh, clearly outside off. Very, there's a shout from behind the wicket, I think. Dunne van Neerkirk has got bat on it. Sweeps, sweeps hard through square leg. And almost there. Goes big, Dunne van Neerkirk. What a solid base to hit on. And again, likes to drive along the ground, does Katie Mack. Backs her ability. Again on the drive, again through the gap. And again, finds the boundary. Bold, leg stump gone. Went for 13 in a first over. Brings herself back on just outside the power play and breaks the partnership. Does she get a wicket? No, she doesn't, because Dunne van Neerkirk threads the gap. Clubbed straight down the ground, past the outstretched hand of Holly. Amazing run chase. That's pulled off its line there by Laura Vovada. She is being taken. So Dunne van Neerkirk is what usually happens to the very next ball. She's got quite a bit of this, does Dunne van Neerkirk. Dunne van Neerkirk gives her some space to the onside now and finds a gap. Sets herself early. That is hit on the pad and it's a, almost a plead rather than an appeal from Carly Leeson. Bangs it in and gets the wicket. Deserves that, Ellie Falconer. Put down Dane van Neerkirk when she was on 38. That would have been in the back of her mind. Move around in the crease once she was in the 20s again. As you saw that, nicely played by Laura. Out of the back of the hand, it's just dipping. Laura Vulvart goes long, down, one bounce. How do I get out there? Oh, oh, hits that nicely. Head down. You can look up now, Laura, and admire that. She's gone again. Does she want to bring up the 50 with a boundary? She can't because she's been caught. Harder yeah. to hit, isn't it, Al? Yeah, definitely. It just drops because Harman Preet's not bowling. Back-to-back -back wickets. Yeah, it's, uh, I was almost going to say hat-trick time, but it is the last delivery of the over. It's clever bowling by Molyneux, but up to the task. Can they finish it off with a boundary? Doesn't quite get all of it. Does Patterson brings core into play again. They come back for two, the Adelaide strikers. And as I mentioned, She has the ball in her hand. And that's in the air, just falling short of backward point. That's Up to the front foot very nicely and confidently, Jemima Rodriguez. Oh, down on one knee goes Jimmy Rodriguez to Megan Shute. There was protection out there. She didn't care. As that's timed nicely too. Real fast bowling stocks that just pulled off the line. Wellington's chasing it, but I don't think she will chase it down. Get, out her, get her out there to have a good swing away. Thick outside edge, and that's flying down to third. And again, this has gone straight up, though. Who wants it? Tane van Neerkirk wants it and gets the hands around it nicely. That is a big breakthrough for the strikers. Tanda Jones. And there's an edge there. Finger goes up from Talia McGrath and the umpire. So McGrath into the attack and gets... Pretty much like that, Alex Blackwell. We've seen it a bit against Australia and now Harman Precourt is... <laughs> the guys are in trouble. Oh, okay. oh, here we go. Just in case you missed the first one. Check out the second one. Across the crease goes Harman Preek, who are very confident. <laughs> Set herself way too early, and there's a misfield. Now, will it find the boundary? It does. Straight back over the outstretched hand of Dunne van Neerkirk, and that will find the boundary. 
across her crease. And again, it's Sky. Can this one go to hands of a striker? It can. Sarah Coit, brilliant off the boundary line. Cuts hard, backward of point. May have got a little bit of a hand on it. The sweep from Duffin. There's no protection inside the inner circle or on the boundary line. Talking about playing in sixes, that is exactly what Harmon Prickcourt is planning on doing. This game. A little tug around the corner to bring up her fourth WBBL half century. Her well, she'll enjoy it that much more if she again shies away again holds the shot does she have more on it this time oh, a full toss on Harman Prick cause hit Six. and is that the fourth one handy back of the hand there Harman Prick core likes that it's in the slot and it's over the top well the field setting was right yeah it's gone directly over the head of what looks like 10 from 9 and McFarlane, does she juggle a catch? She does. Duffin is gone from seven. And it's a thick outside edge. That will race away. It's almost the perfect scenario for Harmon Precourt. Three from three needed. Gets a thick outside edge. That's where it went in the semi final. And this time, though, it goes over the boundary line and gets the Renegades over the line in a magnificent run chase against the Adelaide Strikers. They needed 161 for the win. And then it's a masterclass from Harmon Precourt.